When it comes to Loki and the characters appearing in the series, it's really no coincidence that a series about protecting time and space would feature a character with a strong connection to Kang the Conqueror, who just so happens to be the villain of the upcoming Ant-Man Quantumania. So the character we are talking about here is of course Renova Renslayer, who has a very complex history with Kang, let's put it that way. Or complex future, but history, but also the future. Anyways though, the actress was recently asked about the comic lore, about using those elements, about expanding upon it, and if we could see some of those uh, elements, I guess is the best way to put it, play a role in her portrayal in the MCU and what they can do. And she says that there is a lot of opportunity to do things like that, but she believes that the character joining the TVA is a fresh start for her. That sounds like one of those wink and nod at it scenarios where maybe they mention something, but not directly, I guess, go full on into it is the best way to describe it. Like, probably not mention Kang by name, but maybe tease some complex relationships that took place in a different timeline or the far-flung future or whatever they do with Kang. And again, the moment they start dealing with Kang in the future in Ant-Man Quantumania, we can expect that things are going to go off course pretty substantially when it comes to the quantum realm and different universes and timelines and everything that it affects. So Loki being another uh, factor in that whole concept isn't really shocking, and also this character possibly having a connection to Kang isn't really shocking because we don't know how they're going to handle Kang. For all we know, they could do the Marvel Comics approach where there's tons of versions of him and they just pull whatever lore they want to and place him wherever in history and do whatever because he's constantly messing with time. And we see with Loki, time is a huge factor in the series, so who knows how things might roll out forward with the effects of this series and what it has on Kang and if he maybe in the future when we get to Ant-Man or something maybe we see her from a different point of view in a different timeline and we go oh okay there we go that's a connective piece of a uh, storytelling there because again at one point Ant-Man was supposed to tie more into the multiverse and everything because again Loki was supposed to be a major part of that till well till plans changed. 